Coming up, Godzilla meets some special friends, challenges the Germans to a drag race, and makes people say silly things. Top speed, man! That's for later. But first, let's just take you through what the 2017 Nissan GTR is all about. The Nissan GTR is a supercar beater, cross-country tourer. And mean track machine in one delightful package. The design is eye catching on the new GTR with redesigned bumpers, triple barrel headlamps, and a sculpted tail with the iconic twin ring LED tail lamps. The quad exhaust pipes mean business. The underbody has a full carbon fiber shield. The huge spoiler and the recessed door handles aid in aerodynamics. The interiors of the 2017 GTR have been made a little plusher. The seats are better bolstered, the dashboard gets soft touch leather and the infotainment system screen for the Bose system is larger. It also displays everything a blue-blooded enthusiast would want from the car. From boost pressures to g-forces, oil temperatures to throttle position. Everything that can help you squeeze out more performance from this car. And it has its practical touches like a large 315-litre boot and fairly usable rear seats. From the iconic R32 to the R35 GTR, it has retained its heritage. Everything is as it should be in the Nissan GTR, with the three special switches for the transmission, the suspension and the traction control system that put this car into crazy mode. Yet, you can drop them into comfort mode and potter about town at low, insanely low RPMs. Every bit of the GTR is functional, like these nostrils that direct air at the headers under the bonnet. The engine is hand-built by specialists called Takumi. This one was built by Takumi Tsunemi Uyama. This 3.8-litre twin-turbo V6 petrol engine puts out 565 bhp of power and 637 newton meters of torque. It comes with a 6-speed dual-clutch transmission with paddle shifts and the Atessa all-wheel drive system. The acceleration is brutal to say the least. What? What made GTR so famous around the world when it was first launched was the fact that it was a budget supercar and it gave some of the bigger supercars nightmares. Coming back to the main driving aspect of it, the steering is still a hydraulic one. They haven't moved on to the electric steering wheel which is a very very good thing because it actually gives you a lot of feedback, you know where your wheels are going, you get a lot of traction feedback as well as braking and cornering feedback from the car itself. Going from 0 to 100 in under 3 seconds can get the G-forces messing with your senses. Yet, it gets pretty lonely being so fast as you leave everyone behind. And so, we thought we'd get Godzilla some friends. Porsche 911, a souped-up Audi TT, a Ford Mustang with an aftermarket exhaust system, a Mercedes C63 AMG, again with an aftermarket exhaust, a Mercedes C63 S, and this sleeper of a car, the Audi S6 V8 Bitobo, which has been remapped to 800 Newton meters of torque and over 500 bhp of power. Now. That's some competition. However, Godzilla was not really worried. The GTR's acceleration is so insane 
and combined with the Atessa ATS all-wheel drive system, it beat the C63S easily. Notice the lack of traction on the Merc. However, with the Audi S6, it was a close call. Godzilla did get ahead after the first few seconds. Speaking of insane acceleration, here are a couple of happy passengers. Fantastic. <laughs> if you get pressed back against your seat and your stomach starts rushing like a roller coaster and <laughs> releases all the adrenaline in your body, you start feeling really alive. <laughs> Amazing. At the end of a weekend well spent with the Nissan GTR, burning through tankful after tankful of 97 octane, you realize why this car is so legendary. It's a car that you can drive about town every day, take on a road trip, or smoke practically every souped up supercar at a traffic light or on the racetrack. It's a practical everyday sports car that can turn more than a few heads anywhere it goes. Ooh.